Hi, this video shows how I put together a high current DC to DC converter. To drive a 5 meter LED strip I needed around 6 amps at 5 volts. First of all, I ordered these cheap ass 2 amp DC to DC converters. I will put 3 of them in parallel. You can get them at around 53 cents a piece. Check out the links in the description below. As DC input I am using an old 19 volts 3.4 amps power supply. You can get them from old laptops. Using this connector and this 50 cent box from the hardware store I can build a simple case. Since the terminals of the converters have holes we can put through a copper wire to get them all connected. I tested the connector attached to my power supply for the polarity of the pins using my multimeter. And then I soldered the wires. Everyone loves heat rings. As a next step I started to stack the converters on the input wires. It's important that all the converters are set to exactly the same output voltage, otherwise they will blow up. I used my multimeter and the trim pots on the converters to set them to exactly 5 volts. After soldering the output wires to the converters it was time to test if it works. Seems to work! Then I started to build a case. For these high currents you need a thick wire. Another test and I realized that the 2 amps rating for each of the converters seems to be rather an optimistic approximation. They got so hot I could barely touch them. The decision to add a fan to the device you are developing is probably the hardest one, especially if you want to keep it silent. I took an old one from a PC. It's rated for 12 volts, but running it on the 5 volt output keep it slow and silent. also to cut some vents in the case such that the air flows across the hot ICs on the PCBs.
Luckily I also found in my old trash collection a fan extension set that had the right screws to mount the fan to the case. One last test, the fan is working, LED is on. If you haven't watched it yet, check out the home automation project on my first channel where I have used this device. <laughs>